Hello, and thanks for checking out my video today. I'm going to show you how to shape and polish an epoxy resin handle. Before we get started, please make sure that you have a decent respirator on before you start sanding epoxy. Lots of very fine dust involved. So I knock the pins down and I'm adding rough shape to the top edge of the handle, to the bottom edge of the handle, around the back. I'm just getting a really rough shape. Grinding the epoxy resin down to the uh, flush with the tang. Now, you may want to occasionally just stop and hold the knife in your hand and see how it feels to you. Remember, this is going to be a knife that you're going to use and you've got to make sure that it feels right in your hand. Now, if you're making it for somebody else, they have a smaller hand or a larger hand, try to, try to imagine what that might feel like to them. So I've got 120 grit paper on a 2x72 OBM grinder here. 120 grit is pretty rough, so because epoxy is relatively easy to sand, it's, you have to be careful that you don't go crazy. So I'm over at my workbench and I'm going to start doing some hand shaping and one good tip is keep a water bottle handy. Not only will it allow you to see where you are as far as scratches and imperfections, but it'll also give you an idea of the color. I start out with 240 grit sandpaper and I'm going to spend more time on the 240 than any other of the sandpapers because it's critical that I get all of those really rough sand marks out of the epoxy as well as get the shape of the handle right before I move on. Once you move forward with epoxy, it's tough to go back. You end up having to re-sand a lot, so you want to get all of your marks dealt with before you move forward. I pulled out the Dremel real quick here to deal with some rough spots that were on the tang that I wasn't going to be able to get out with the 240. Now if you look at that stack of sandpaper that I have sitting over there, I don't go through every grade of sandpaper I find that it's probably a waste of time. I tend to jump from 240 to maybe four or 600, then maybe 800 to 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, then maybe up to 5,000. And I'm starting to sand right now. I'm going to start sanding wet. And there's two advantages here that you get a smoother sand, but you can also really get a really good idea of any imperfections that you may have left. If something's too rough to get out with whatever sandpaper you're using, you, you will have to step back and then go back forward again. But take your time. If you notice that I laid down a cloth here to do some final sanding, I don't want to get any marks in the handle at this point. And so I just want to make sure that I'm not picking up any scratches from the, from the tabletop. 
I'm putting 8,000 grit polishing compound on right now. And I'm going to use that in combination with an 8,000 grit sandpaper. This 8,000 grit sandpaper it doesn't say 8,000 grit on it, but it is. And actually, it doesn't even feel like sandpaper. It actually just feels like regular paper. It's so fine. Because right now, you're really just polishing. Then, I keep that remaining 8,000 grit polish on the handle. And I'm going to step over to my uh, grinder. On the right-hand side, I have a a finer buffing wheel. On the left, I have a little bit of a rougher buffing wheel. I just added some additional buffing compound there to the wheel. Try to get out any final scratches. And then the next step I'm gonna do is polish the blade. I use a product called Flit. I'll show it to you here in a second. Flit uh, will not only polish the metal, but it will also provide a bit of corrosion resistance to the blade. And I'll take this and spread it all over the blade. Give it a final polish. It takes a while to do an epoxy resin handle and to make it look good. So, you know, just try to enjoy the process. Take it slow. If you rush it, it's not going to turn out well. So now I'll use my slightly rougher wheel there. Take note that I'm keeping the sharp side of the blade down when I'm grinding. I don't want to catch it on the wheel as it's spinning. I noticed a few additional little scratches that I wanted to get out of the wheel, so put some buffing compound on there. And then wipe it all off. And we have a beautiful, shiny epoxy resin handle. Hope y'all enjoy watching my video today. Thanks.